So what is going on YouTube? Now my name is Mehul and welcome to 39th basics of JavaScript video in which we're going to discuss about exception handling, basics of exception handling in JavaScript and uh, how to work with it. So exception basically means that something has gone wrong with your code and uh, it needs to be addressed. Now sometimes you know a particular piece of code which might create an exception and you even know how to handle it if there's an exception. For example, if you're creating an application which does a network request to some server which you do not own, then obviously you know that servers can go down and you know there could be problems. So what you want to do is try to ping that server and if it works then okay, execute the code. And if it doesn't, you want to use a mirror server or some other server which basically does the same job. So how do you do that? Well, in JavaScript what we have is something known as a try catch block. So what happens basically is inside try you write code which you think might produce an exception, right? So for example, let's say I get uh, uh I don't know, let's say we have let i is Hundred and let j is zero, right? So what we want to do is basically see that if j is zero, then we do not want to proceed. For example, if you want to just divide, so if j is zero, we do not want to proceed. So we're going to say throw an error which says um, j cannot be zero, right? And right here inside catch we catch this error and hit save so you see that we we do have this exception which says j cannot be zero because this was an exception but let's say if j was two hit save then we get nothing so we can just basically proceed onwards and say i by j hit save you see we get 50 here right because that's the answer and uh, what if what would happen if we did not have this thing this try catch block hit save and change it back to zero you see we get an error that uncaught j cannot be zero and uh, my my nice little statement nice little statement which had nothing to do with all this code also did not run because of this error right but if you have all this inside a try catch block, then obviously it does not matter to my nice little statement, right? It still runs. It still runs even if j is zero. So this was a very basic video on how to use try catch, and you don't necessarily need to use throw all the time. Sometimes the functions you are creating would throw themselves automatically. So throw basically just throws an error. It is used manually if you want to throw an error, sometimes automatically if JavaScript cannot find something. So for example, one, one way for JavaScript to throw an error is like selecting an element, let's say which does not exist, ABC, right? And I say it's inner text is 100, right? So this element does not exist, so it would return me null. I'm trying to set a property of a null object, of an undefined object, right? So if I hit save, you see we get type error, cannot set property in a text of null. So this element was null and I tried to set its inner text. And it did not exist and it threw an error. So I caught this error here and a nice little statement still executed, right? So I hope this makes sense. And I guess that's all for this video. And if you liked it, then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.